Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. If these tips you could use them yourself, or if you don't have the time, have somebody else use them. Whatever the case is, I'm more than happy to provide this information to you. Right now, I'm on your Instagram page, uh, Razor Deck. So, like right here too, you're showing off all your work you're doing. You got your flyers, and these are some. This is some nice job uh, work you've done. In your description too, it's good how you mention that you mention your professional painting company. You mention the area you serve. You mention you do commercial and residential, free estimates, and then you got your phone number listed. And it's good how you have different highlights for your story too, uh, for your Instagram page. I mean, one thing I'm not seeing is a website in your description. I want to show you how you can use a website to your advantage. So here's what happens when you search for a painting in Victorville, California, where you are. First thing we see here is an advertisement from Thumbtack. So they're paying to be on page one. They're renting that space and you want to own that space. If we get past that when we get into the organic section. Sorry, my bad. No, this is the map portion, my bad. So here in the top three people, maps get the most traffic. And as you see here, so we got MG Painting Co., Luke's Christian Painting, and then uh, Wrightwood Painting. Top three people, as I mentioned, they, they get the most traffic. Once we get past the maps, then we get into the organic section. This is where you want to have your spot. So we got Yelp as the with the top two, then we got Home Advisor, MG Painting Co. We're gonna look at their site because they have a top three map listing as well. Oh, they got four and five. And then we keep going down. So there we are. I'm gonna show you some stats on Google Search. So with Google Search traffic, page one gets 91.5% of that traffic. As you see here, everything outside of page one is far significantly less. Like if you're not on that first page, it'll be much harder for people to find you on Google. And 47% of the time, people conduct a Google search. It is for a local business service. And even if you get a spot on page one, it's still crucial where you are ranked because not all traffic is created equal there. Like the top three spots get the most traffic. So you see that first spot gets 32.5%, the second spot gets 17.6%, and that third spot gets 11.4%. And that last spot, the 10th spot, only gets 2.4% of that traffic. So if you get top three organic listings to go along with the top three map listing, you're going to get a lot of traffic coming your way. The more website visitors you get, they'll in turn lead to more phone calls. The more phone calls will turn into more customers. And with that extra revenue from that extra customers, you can grow your business even further. So now let's take a look at MG Painting Co. See, this is their website. See, it's like nice and simple. Anytime you have a website, you always want to think to yourself, what's the first action you want the user to take? So you always want to have a clickable phone number at the top like they do but you want it to be on the top left the user's eyes always start on the left hand side of the page if they see that phone number first thing they know to contact you then as they make their way to the right of the page you want to have something like this a contact form but instead of just saying contact us you want to have to say like get a free estimate get a free quote that'll give them more incentives to fill out that contact form and reach you via email and some things that Google looks for when ranking a local business website, they look for authoritative content. So you want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about the services you provide on the homepage. And then for each service page, you want to have between 500 to 750 words authoritative content. You can even go past that 750 words. The more the better. No such thing is too much. See here, they have a lot of words here. But depending on what you do, you want to have pages for each of these too. So maybe you do like vinyl siding painting, like fence painting, masonry painting, drywall and texture. All those should have its, their own pages. But you should definitely have a central service page as well too. You definitely want to have gallery and testimonials. Google favors those websites with more web pages of authoritative content. So you can make like blogs to giving your thoughts and opinions on everything. Painting, the more valuable information on painting you have, the better. Just think about this, whenever you type in an actor's name on a Google search, one of the first pages to pop up is their Wikipedia page. Wikipedia is at the top because they have so much information on that actor from like filmography, the details of their career, what they were before famous, like how they grew up and their personal lives. So whenever Google sees a lot of information, they want you to, they want that to be one of the first things to pop up. Another thing too you can do, you can make a loca uh, pages for each location that you serve. So maybe you want to make a location for Mountain View Acres, maybe Apple Valley. I think even, yeah, Hesperia, uh, Mariana Ranchos, uh, Baldi Mesa. Let's see what, maybe Pinnon Hills, maybe El Mirage, La Delta. 
maybe Wrightwood, Let's see, maybe Helendale, Hodge, Western Valley, maybe Chris Stein right here, maybe Alright, Cajon Junction. So there, there's a lot you can do there. And having authoritative content though is just one piece to the puzzle. It's very essential though. Yeah, yeah it's just it's just one thing you need. That's just one of the necessary steps in order to rank. You also need a thing called backlinks to rank. So backlink is what when you put your website link onto another website. And not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more powerful than others. So ranking a new website to the top of Google is just like being a new kid at a new school trying to get popular. Yeah, you can have great looks, and great personality, or great content, a great looking site, but that alone is not enough to get popular. You've got to win the votes and confidence of all your peers and the popular kids. So let's just say, for example, um, the Los Angeles Times wrote an article about painting, and then they, you were one of the subjects covered in it, and they put your website link there, and they give you that follow -up. Google would see that be like, oh, the Los Angeles Times likes Ray Zotek. We're going to move him up the rankings. The Los Angeles Times would be one of the popular kids, most popular kids. So you want to find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. Even like sites on painting and construction, too, would be great uh, things to get backlinks from. But if you put your website link onto a new site called joespainting.com and they give you a follow, Google would see that be like, oh, a new kid vouched for another new kid. His painting doesn't mean anything. We're keeping right to where he is. This is a tool like you use called Uber Suggest. Here's an overview of mgpaintingco.com. So they appear in 25 organic keyword searches and they have 12 backlinks. You can actually see who your competitors are linking to. We try to link up to those same sites. Let's take a look at their keywords. So like for MG Painting, you can actually run a Google ad for that keyword to try to take some other traffic. Like Victorville Painters, you definitely want to be there at search 30 times a month. I mean, MG Painting search 110 times a month. Then Painter in Victorville search 30 times a month. Painters in Victorville, so these are, oh, that painted contractors, Hesperia, CA, search 10 times a month, contractors in Victorville, CA, that could be another good keyword to rank for. You could have those, you just have to make sure you got, like, the those keywords onto your site, like painting contractor, Victorville, Hesperia, and so on. Let's take a look at some of their backlinks. All right, T. So you definitely want to be on yellow pages. That would be a good place to get a link from be n49.com local reach would be another one too you definitely want to be on your local chamber of commerce as well and another thing too to rank in the map portion of google you need a thing called citations which is the number of times that your business name phone number and address are listed across the web and you want to make sure that you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations in your competition and sometimes having way more citations in your competition won't always get you ahead in the rankings but what will help is if you build up a site with lots of authoritative content as well as a lot of valuable backlinks if you have that high powered website to go along with all those citations then you'll be way ahead of your competition so i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to hearing from you thank you